Hey, yeah, uh, welcome. We got some more music. Hello. Little. I was gonna say I don't hear yeah. any of your music. <laughs> oh, you don't hear it. Well, <laughs> shoot. I promise you, I'm playing music right now. That's okay. We're gonna save that for the next session. It's yeah. Hall and Oats, so I'll make sure to uh, save that for you. Uh, but let Just me get a back preview to my of slides what's to come. <laughs> it's a preview. It is a preview of what's to come. Um, but I'm so excited. I'm gonna jump right in because we got so much Bonnie on this one. I There's do. so much in here, and um, so first of all. Welcome to session number two of Sales Workshop 2024. It's so Ooh. exciting. Oh, it's so exciting. And I forgot to do this on our last one because we've had one session prior is I didn't even like introduce who we are. Um, <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> let's go. Um, so I am Stephanie Grice at Travify. And then I have my pal Bonnie here. Hello, I'm Bonnie. I am under uh, Stephanie and I'm an education coordinator over here. So glad to see some familiar names. Let us know if you were able to attend the first session though. Yes. Let us know. This is going to make a world of difference for this session. It really will. It really will. And I love Gilbert, by the way, said hi, Stephanie and a brilliant Bonnie. Love that. <gasps> yes. Gilbert. Yes. Hello. Hello. Oh, there's oh. so many. The first session really was one of the best kickoffs we've had. And as uh, sure. Jennifer said, I hope you guys are feeling good about everything. And hopefully this will help keep you above water uh, just because you guys are so busy. I know you guys work some really odd hours. Who can relate to that? So... <laughs> Yeah, literally, like one Lindsay just said, I, I had uh, do some quotes for a client, so couldn't join earlier. Yeah, like you guys are so busy. Um, so just really, and and I know open. Someone mentioned the hurricane. We just want to say we're totally thinking of all of you in the hurricane path and who got you know um, had it felt it before. Um, you know, we're all thinking of you and hope everything stays safe and good. Um, but. The thing is, too, is we are also recording all of these. So if you are busy, um, you know, doing client quotes and, you know, and also we are trying to cram in, you know, three to four sessions every single day. Um, so there's a lot going on. So we are recording everything as well. Um, so keep that in mind. I'll show you where you can find all the recordings here in a, in a just a couple minutes. Um, but if, if you didn't join us in the first session today, and this is your first one, welcome to Sales Workshop 2024. This is our fourth annual time doing this and how we started we started doing this um during the pandemic because you know we were like what's a way that we can get the community of travel advisors whether you're a travify user or not together and talk about how you can continue to grow your business and it just stuck and it kept being so much fun every year and so every year we bring together amazing travel advisors like you heard in the last session of jennifer um and then after this one you're going to hear from penny cooper um every day we bring in so many people um, this is the only one where you'll just hear from like me. I just had to do this session because once after the session that you would have seen before, I was like, this is so good. I need to show you everyone how you do this in Travify. So I kind of carved out a little Travify um, webinar here. So that's that's where this came from. So shout out to Jennifer Wayland who did the session before, who inspired the session that you're about to see right now. Um, but for everybody um, following along all this whole week from today, tomorrow, and Thursday, um, if you go to our website that you would have registered to for this webinar with, um, that is where you'll see all the registrations for all the sessions. So you do want to register for each session. Um, and again, we have multiple sessions every day. We have one more uh, later today at 4 p.m. Central um, with Penny Cooper. And she's going to be talking about the art of, sell of storytelling, which I can't wait for. That's going to be a really cool session. And then we'll have more sessions tomorrow and then wrap it all up on Thursday as well. So there's a lot going on. So definitely go in there and check them out. Um, but all the recordings will also be available in the same spot. So if you did miss, um, you know, the session before or you're going to miss some coming up, um, actually, you'll be able to watch them pretty quickly after they air. So um, you'll just have to give it a little about 45 minutes or so. And then um, you'll be able to just watch the recording um, directly from the Zoom webinar um, that we're recording from. So we make it easy, you know, so that's the great thing. You can go back and watch all those. Um, now, one final thing that I want to mention um, before I start diving in here is 
if you have questions, um, which we're, we're ready for a Q&A sesh after the, at the end of this, so we'll be ready. Um, but if you can ask your questions, there's a Q&A panel in your Zoom. Um, if you can use that, that will really help because it's uh, it's Bonnie back there. She's going to have like fired keyboard, you know, fingers back there, um, just really helping to answer all those questions. And then we will try to answer as many as we can at the end as well. Um, but know that since we are talking about Travify specifically in this session, our support team is also there and happy to help. So if after this you don't get a question answered or you think of it later, um, use the chat in your account or just send us an email. Email, um, and we can help you out there. Um, so it's going to be a fun one. This can be really, really awesome. Um, so I'm going to start to dive in here because again, we have quite a bit to accomplish in this session. I have done a lot, um, but I, I have made something for you all. So I'm going to, I'm going to come back and point this out again, but I actually made, um, I took a Travify itinerary and made it into a document with everything I'm talking about today. Now I'm going to talk about a lot of things today. So that's why this thing, and Bonnie's going to share this link out um, in just a bit here with everybody, but keep that in mind. I'm going to reference it a lot. Um, so just know that as I'm going through things, we are going to have a lot of free material and links for you, like a lot, a lot. So keep that in mind. We will share that with you. But in this agenda, we are going to cover nine steps to a sales workflow. Now, again, if you saw the previous session, if you joined us for Jennifer's session, we are basically taking everything she talked about and putting it into Travify. We're going to show you how you use a lot of that in Travify. So whether you're sending out forms, you're collecting and organizing client information, um, no matter putting together the proposal, the itinerary, no matter what it was, we will show you how to do that in Travify. So I'm going to walk through all those steps. Now, if you missed the session before, don't worry, this is still going to make a lot of sense, but I would recommend um, to go back and watch that recording. Um, it will be really helpful to hear, you know, more of a bigger picture of how this works in real life. And then we're just going to show you how you apply it and make it very actionable for you and your business. Um, now what I'm going to do is I am going to walk through each step individually, and then I'm also going to show you examples and show and demonstrate how you do some of this in Travify. Um, so if it is, for example, you're creating a form, I'll show you what that form can look like, and I'll show you how you would create it. Um, so it's going to be kind of like that. So I'm going to be kind of hopping around. Um, but then again, we're going to have a ton of free content and downloads for you after this. Um, so a lot of like everything that you see that I do today, it's pretty much you're getting as a free template that you can put in your own Travify account. Um, but then after that, I'll show you just how you get started with this all in Travify, and then we'll open it up for Q&A. Um, so lots of good stuff in there. Um, now, again, in this session, there will be quite a bit. So we will have this guide for you that has lots of links in there, but this is also going to be so great for those to show you what's possible in Travify. So if you're brand new, never used Travify before, this is really going to open up your eyes to what is possible in Travify. And if you're already a user, we have so much advanced tips and tricks in this as well that you're going to find something um, new and exciting as well. So this is just going to be telling you, this is a very fun one. Um, so with that being said, let us dive in. Now I'm going to do something first here. I like to first walk through all the different components, all the different tools built within Travify's tools or within its one software product. Now, if you are a Travify user, you might know about some of this, but I'm going to be touching on a lot of these tools throughout this session. Now, when it comes to building a sales workflow in Travify, we give you pretty much all the tools that you really need. And that starts off with on your marketing side. You know, we do have a landing and website page builder. Um, we are going to have a session later on Thursday about this. Um, so we'll actually cover more about building amazing landing pages, websites to really convert and sell. Um, but this is available in your Travify account. So you can start creating these pages um, to as a, an online uh, reference to show them, you know, things they can purchase or book through you. 
And then we also have our form builder. Um, so this is where either you're collecting new lead information, contact, maybe you're getting passport information um, or credit card authorization. No matter what it is, we have the form builder available for you. Um, so in there, I'm going to be using that quite a bit during um, this walking through the session today. Um, so you're going to see a lot of the forms in action. But keep in mind, too, that we are completely PCI compliant. So what that means for you is that any credit card authorization form or e-signature form that you create, your client signs and fills out, it's safe and secure. You know, at the utmost secure you can get. So it's um, really, really amazing there. But then we're also going to be touching on, um, you know, the con the CRM side, because that's a lot of what this is, especially at the beginning sales process. You're really spending a lot of time in your CRM. And so I'm going to show you how you can keep all that information organized, where it all lives and how you use it in there within Travify. And then finally, that brings us over then to our proposals where, you know, you can start to build out these beautiful, you know, engaging proposals that make your client want to book, you know, and then at the end, that itinerary process, because the sales process doesn't end once they, you know, fill out, make their payment, it keeps going. So I'm going to show you from the first call that you ever have with them to one year after their trip, how you keep the you know, keep them coming back for more. So we're going to cover all of that today. So a lot in here. Um, so again, just as a reminder, I'm going to walk through each of the nine steps one by one with you. And then we're going to jump around into Travify and I'll show you what it looks like for clients and when you send that information, um, you know, from Travify to them. So you'll get to see all kinds of things in there. So, okay. Are we ready for this? Bonnie's nodding her head. She's ready. Okay, here we go. Step number one, everybody. Now, the first step, first step sales process, probably, you know, you're like, yeah, of course. The initial booking request. So in this first step, you naturally just need to get more information about the trip so you can see how you can help. How can you help plan this? So in our last session, again, if you were able to join us, Jennifer shared that she likes to first schedule a call with the with the client, potential client. And that way she can ask questions over the phone so she can document everything on her end as they're talking and answering questions. Now, keep in mind, some advisors might just use a form for the person to fill out first, which definitely works too. So if you have a form, you know, and you want to just have them fill out, what are they looking for? What's their budget? All this stuff. You can still do that completely in Travify. But in this example, I just wanted to show you how um, you can set up uh, your Cal a Calendly account so you can get that call scheduled. So the first thing is really just you're wanting to get on the phone with them. You know, I, I want to get on the phone so we can really talk through what you're looking for um, and I know how to help you. So in Travify, there's a couple things you can do. Now, one, um, and this is what Jennifer was talking about. She has a link that she sends people to and it's connected to her calendar and she uses uh, the tool called Calendly where they can pick a time and then just schedule it from, from there and then it's done. So now she knows, okay, she sees it come up on her calendar. Well, Calendly, if you're not familiar, they're a software tool that you can use that, again, it just basically connects your calendar, um, it syncs your calendar in. So that way the client can see what's available. And you can also put settings around it. Like, so you can say like, I don't want them to, this has to be at least, you know, a couple days in advance, you know, things like that. Well, one of the great things is Travify actually has a Calendly embed option. So you can embed a Calendly link in a form or on a website or landing page. So to show you an example here, this is what you could create in Travify. You could create a form. So this form right here, I could have my clients fill it or a potential new client fill this out where I'm just getting their, you know, any other information you might want. But then down at the bottom, see how I now have the option, they can actually pick a time to schedule a call with me. So not only am I getting, you know, all the information that I need before I talk to them, but I'm also, you know, getting that on the calendar where they, there's no, um, you know, wall blocking, you know, this happening. It's all in their court. They can go and book this on their own. 
The other option that you could do is you could also, remember how I was talking about the website landing page builder? Well, in Travify, you can build landing pages. Um, so like this one, this one right here that you see on your screen, I built in Travify. And this is just a simple, simple page that is just literally says, start planning your trip. They come down, they can then click here and they can book, you know, their call right in here. Um, so really, really simple. Um, now something amazing, and I mentioned this before, this form and this page you can get access to. So I'm going to give you the templates to this. So if you decide that you want to go this, this uh, page route where like what I'm seeing here, when you download this or when you copy this into your own account, you can come in and you can customize this um, with like a logo, change the color, add whatever you want in there as well. So I'm really excited about that. Like, that's what was really cool is I was like, wait, I can just make this and give it to you. Like, let's just help you out here. So um, that's why that's going to be really cool. Um, now, one last thing I want to mention before I move to step two is um, Calendly also, because uh, I saw some people were asking about that, is um, there is a paid version, but you do get your first Calendly free. So you can still sign up in there and then just use that um, link as well. And I know there's other options out there, too, that you could use. Um, but that's just, uh, you know, things you can do in there. So there you have it. There is step one. We are now getting that call scheduled. Um, now, again, different ways that you could have that, get that scheduled with them. But then let's say now we are on the call with them. Um, this is the time to ask the right questions and document those responses. Um, but this is also, you know, where you can share the planning steps with them, uh, the planning fee if you have one, all of that stuff. Um, so one of the things I know Jennifer talked about in the last session is that, again, she likes getting on a call um, because that way she can have on her screen pulled up um, the questionnaire that she needs to ask, and then she can take notes and add responses for that and then put it into her CRM. Well, how you can do this in Travify is what you can do is you can build a questionnaire form. So I'm going to click on here. So this, again, it's a simple form that I've created in Travify. And I also have a template for you. Um, this you can get. Um, but basically in this, I can have this pulled up on my screen and then fill out everything as I'm talking to the person. So if I want to say, you know, like, um, what kind of experience are you looking for? Like, do you have any specific activities? Have you traveled here before? Um, you know, all kinds of stuff. And then, okay, is there any special services I need to know? All of that kind of stuff. So this way you never forget anything. And I like one of the things Jennifer is mentioning is how organized and like just she looks so organized in front of her clients. And I think that's what's so great about this is that they don't know that you're like you have this pulled on your screen and you're just answering, you know, and it's just so easy to do. And then once you fill this form out, just click continue and then it'll save this form response in your Travify account so you can go back and access it again. So what you could do is if we go back to the slide here, once you have that questionnaire form, you know, that you're asking, um, you can then keep it organized and start collecting um, any other notes in the contacts. So what, how this is working here, I'm going to, I'm going to take a couple steps back because um, I know people are like, wait a minute, how does it even get in there? Well, here's how it works. So when I finish that form, in my library, I have um, a form. So this is where all your forms live um, in here. Once I submit that response, it goes into responses here. Now, if this was a brand new client that you did not have their contact information in your Travify CRM yet, um, then it would say, you know, do you want to add a new contact or create this or add it to an existing contact and create a new contact? Um, so that's all I did. And I went ahead and just created a new contact already. So that's why it says Sally Smith's name in here. And so then when I need to go back and look at those responses, I'm going to log into my Travify account. And then up at the top, you'll see where it says contacts. That is where all of your client contact information is organized. So you'll see here at the top, the Sally Smith, this was that new contact that got created because of this form. Now, when you want to look at the form responses, just go into their contact profile, click under forms, and then here's all those responses. 
So I filled this out yesterday, actually, just to, so you didn't have to watch me type everything one by one. Um, but you can see in here that I have all the information now that I need to move forward. So I know they want to go um, this, you know, I talked to Sally. She wants to go to Italy, Florence, Amalfi Coast in next July. And she would just be going with her husband. She really wants to do wine and culinary, um, all of that good stuff. So I know now all of this stuff that I need to know when I'm I'm giving her options during the proposal process. Now, another really handy thing I want to point out is if you ever have just general notes that you need to keep, um, you also can add those in the contacts right here. So when you open one of their contact profiles within Travify, there's a section under notes where you can actually go ahead and you can just type notes in here. So you can add as many notes as you want. Um, so this could be another area that maybe you have this open as well, like on another tab. So you're taking any other notes that are additional outside of that questionnaire. Um, so completely up to you, the kind of process, but basically that's how this is getting into, this is how it's organizing itself um, for you is basically just, you know, having these notes and then that form you can keep going back and reference whenever you need it. So pretty easy stuff there so far, right? So you can basically, you know, you're getting that on that call. Now you have the information. Now let's say from that um, call, they went ahead and said, all right, I'm ready, um, you know, they've given me the green light to start that planning process. So the first thing that I wanna do is I need to send them a planning agreement form and or maybe you also need them to um, make a, or pay the planning fee as well. Um, so you can also do that too. So there's a couple, or, or you could, you know, figure out what, whatever you need to have in there. But here's the great thing. In Travify, you can have all these forms ready to go and send it right to them, like right after the call or even during the call. It could be that fast. So to walk you through how you would set up like an agreement form or, you know, getting, uh, having them pay the fee or whatever it might be for that next step to start like saying, okay, now I'm going to start doing the research for you. Um, what you can do is we're going to go back into this contact right here. So into Sally's contact. So you can see right in here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click send form. So see what I mean? If I'm on the call with Sally right now, I could be like, you have a form coming your way. Um, so it's very easy. So now what I can do is if I have the form already in here, I can just find it and then send it. But in this case, I do want to take you through um, how to actually create a new form. Because again, I'm giving, I'm going to give you a ton of templates for the, these forms. Um, but if you do want to create one uh, manually, I'll show you how to do it. It's super easy. Um, so what you'll do is you can just say new form here. And then this now is going to be a new form. So let's say this is a planning agreement form. I'm just going to say sample, or we'll say example. There we go. Um, and then in here, we do have some templates that you can pull from. So if you need to get like a proposal agreement, insurance waiver, things like that. But otherwise, all you'll do is you can just start adding questions one by one. Now, when you come in here, you can just say add new. Um, now, again, this is where you could embed like that Calendly calendar. That's how I did that. That's how that's happening. Um, you can also add a text or image if you need as well. And then, um, but question is the easy thing here. So I'm just going to say name because the first thing I need is I just need to know name. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I am going to say I need, and I'm going to explain smart field here in a second. Um, but I'm going to say it's a smart field and I need their contact name. Um, now, smart field, what that means, so I'm going to do this again. See if I need like their email. I'm always going to ask these questions because I want to make sure that when they submit this form, that if it is connected as a smart field, that means it's intuitively going to know to go back to that contact profile that already has that email associated with this. So when Sally fills out any form I send her and has that same email, these forms are going to know which contact profile they're going into. So hopefully that makes sense. And again, I just want to say one more time, I'm going through a lot of different things. So th there'll be tutorials in that handout that we'll give you after this as well. So you can get more in depth with this, but it's so powerful. It's so powerful, so easy, which is really handy. Um, now in here, now, if you want to add like the, uh, you know, uh, terms and conditions, 
Um, you can turn on, see this little check mark down here? Turn on the electronic signature. In here, put your terms and conditions. Now, this is where if you want to write your own, um, you know, you can do that. There's a lot of different ways you can get your terms and conditions. I know there's a lot of different providers out there that um, help and, you know, provide and, and feel free, you know, you can ask in the Facebook, uh, the Travify Facebook group, you know, ask what other people, if they've found really great terms and conditions, people that have helped them. Um, but really when you, when you put these in here, it's so easy because this will save. So you can continue to use the same form over and over. Um, so that's how easy that is. Um, and yeah, and you just put in your complete own terms and conditions in there as well. Um, now, the other thing you can do, if you were asking for credit card authorization, because in this one form, you, you also want to collect for like a planning fee, you could also just click add new and add a question and then have them also add um, their card authorization. Um, so you could do all of that in one. Um, so really simple, you know, if you want to do that, you easily could. Um, so just think about now how easy this is for the client. Cause now I come in here and I'm just gonna say, uh, like, let's just say plain agreement. I'm just gonna send it off. I can send a custom message if I want. And now it's sent to Sally. And it's so easy. And again, it's just all bam, 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 you know, all really quickly sent to these people um, and they can fill it out. And now I can watch here. I can see when it does get filled out. And you also do get an email notification once it's filled out as well um, in there. One pro tip, um, you'll hear me talk about this um, some more at the end. But um, one thing too is uh, if you're, you know, you send the planning agreement out. But like, let's say I have five other people I'm working with this week and I'm like, oh, I could easily maybe forget if Sally, you know, forgets to fill that out or, you know, whatever, you know, I need to keep the process moving. So one tip is you could also create a task for yourself. So in Sally's profile, you can click add under tasks and choose task and say, um, follow up if, or, and you can put whatever you need. Um, I'm just going to say, if haven't heard back. Um, and then I can put the date. So let's just say I'm going to give it till Thursday. And then I can also give it a time. So it reminds me and we'll say, um, I'll say, remind me at that time. Um, that way, again, I will not forget because you all are busy and you're moving around. You have a lot of different, you know, things you're doing, working on. So it's really great to just maybe throw in a reminder for yourself to be like, oh yeah, Sally hasn't like filled that out yet. I mean, me, I need to make sure she got that. Um, so that's, what's really great about that. So a nice little tip there um, as well. So, okay, now let's talk about, they have now, the planning has begun. Um, Sally has now filled out the agreement form. Maybe she's made her planning fee. Now it's time that I start the proposal. So now I start my research time. So now I can start researching options. I already know what she's looking for. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a simple proposal in Travify. So what I'm going to do, oh, and then I just love, by the way, yeah, Bonnie sneeze and uh, <laughs> bless you. Oh, bless. Uh, it's aller allergy season. It's brutal time. Um, yep. Uh, uh, but the proposal is um, in Travify. If you are not familiar with proposals in Travify, we do give you the option to create a really amazing proposal for your client that they can actually, they can approve. There's an option where they view it and it says approve and they can fill out a form. Um, but also sometimes like Jennifer was talking, she doesn't necessarily put it all in, um, you know, all, or she just grabs screenshots, videos, and, you know, shares a website so she does everything over zoom to show them and just like pulls that up but in this situation or this example i want to show you how you can do this in travify because we could do this really quickly and easily and it will really impress the client so i have to show you this so in travify when you do want to create um like a proposal you're just going to come into your account and click new trip now you can put itinerary proposal. Um, the only difference is a proposal is going to have the option for your client to approve it. There's a button that says approve this where an itinerary is like the final thing. So it's going to say like get the app or the PDF. Um, but either way, honestly, they, they it depends again how you want to present this to them. I made a proposal, so I'll show you what that would look like. But in this proposal, I have done it 
a certain way. There's a lot of ways you could do this, to be honest. Like we could, I mean, we have full webinars just about proposals. So if that tells you anything, there's a lot we could do in here. Um, but one thing you can do with a proposal is you could either have it like if you actually know the date, you know, the flights you're going to give them, you know, maybe especially if it's a cruise, you know, you can pull in a whole cruise itinerary from Travify. And so maybe you do it that way. In this example, I want to show you kind of a creative way because uh, Sally, our pretend client, wanted to go to Rome, Florence, and Amalfi Coast. So I figured that when I get on the call with her to present her these options, I want to paint the picture and I want to show her, you know, what I have found. And I'm not going to spend forever on it, but I'm going to do a little bit of research for her, but not, you know, spend hours and hours. So what I did is I created, um, I added some days in here. And again, if I were to put the actual date, trip start date in here, it would give that date. But I left it out for right now because I wanted to use these days as sections. So that way I can say this day is all about Rome. So I'm going to give you all the Rome information, like the hotel, maybe some tour options, things like that. Um, just kind of like I had here with Florence and Amalfi Coast. Now to walk through how I can do this, um, I'm going to add a couple of things in here. So um, you can see how I changed that day title. So I just I just changed it um, right in there. And then now when I want to add information for this day or for this uh, section, I'm just going to click new event. And I'm going to add um, information about the hotel because I'm really not going to get too in the weeds. I just want to just give her the hotel option that I think would be great for her and then show her some ideas of things that they could that we could book for them in Rome. So I'm going to open lodging. Now, if you're familiar with Travify, you know that we have a lot of integrations with different suppliers um, where you can pull content in. Um, if you're not familiar, um, in that handout that we're giving you, you can see all the suppliers that we work with, um, but we can pull in so much content for you just by searching for it. So for example, we have a hotel database that has millions of hotel content around the world. So I can just quickly type in um, the name of this hotel and you can see here it is, and then just click add to itinerary. And so now you can see that immediately Travify gave me information. Um, now, sometimes you'll get more photos. Uh, sometimes you'll get, you know, the information can be different. We also do support um, like Virtuoso and um, Travel uh, travel Leader Select content. So you can turn that on, which that makes it really easy to pull it in. Um, but one thing that you can do is you can come in here now, and if you want to add or edit anything, you can. So if you want to put in your own notes in here, you could. You can do a lot of things. Um, you can also add pricing if you wanted. So this is where um, you can put that pricing if you want. I'm not going to in this case. Um, but one other thing that I highly, highly recommend during this proposal process is add photos and videos. That's really what sells this a lot of times. And so you can, Travify makes it so easy to add photos and videos that you might as well, you know, add them in. So you can just add them in the multimedia section here and I can click this open. Now we do have free stock photos. Um, if you wanna upload your own content, you could. So if you have your own photos, you can. Um, another thing, check this out. I'm gonna show you something here. You can actually drop in the website link of that hotel, and we're going to try to find photos from it. So watch what happens when I do this. It's Travify is starting to search, and here we are. You can see, and now it gets better. I can now say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and select some of these. How beautiful is this? It's really nice. So you can just go ahead, select some photos. Um, you also could drop in a video link. So if you did have a YouTube or Vimeo link, you could put that in there as well. Um, but then, you know, you can just go ahead and save those changes and look at that. So now when I'm walking through this with this client, I can just open these photos and like go through them and I can explain. I could be like, this is the foyer. It's so beautiful. You know, all that stuff. Um, so it's really, really cool. So that's how you can just, you know, add that hotel. Um, now, the last thing that I want to show you is also utilizing our city guides. Travify has destination content built in, and using this for like quotes and proposals is just game changing, especially when you're just trying to paint the picture. So what you can do to access this is if you're building an itinerary proposal, you're going to come over here to the right hand side. 
And this is where your library is. So this is really where, you know, content that you saved and reuse again is in there. But you can choose this option, city guides. Now I can go ahead and type in the name of a city. So Rome in this case. And you can see there's a lot of options here. So we have a lot of, we have two different content providers. So that's why you see so much come in. But then you can select, you can say, do I want the entire guide? Or maybe I just need a couple things. So one thing, I want to add this information about the city. So it adds photos. So see how I just dragged and dropped it in. Very easy. And then one more thing I want to do, because again, I'm just trying to paint the picture here and, and see like what they would be interested in. So I'm going to click and add do and see. So now I can add that in there as well. And look at this. Now, all of this content can be edited and customized. So if there's anything in here that you're like, no, we don't want that, or maybe you want to add something else of your own, you can certainly do so. Um, it's very easy. Um, I won't, or if there's questions, if there's time at the end, I can show you, but we also do support integrations with Viator and Project Expedition. So if you want to pull in tours, you can um, very easily, like during this process. So it's so amazing. But there you have it. This is just, you know, again, another way that you can make this proposal. So then once I have this created, now what I can do is I can present this proposal to them. So maybe you just send it off to them, which you you might do. It might be part of your process. Or if you like to get on like a Zoom call with them, what you can do is you can open up, get on that Zoom call, share your screen and open this view up. And from here, you can walk them through all of these photos. You can say, here is this hotel. It's amazing. I mean, you could have a video play in here if you wanted to. And you can scroll through, you can explain everything. Then you can also say like, you know, it's just so wonderful, you know, and here's some things like, oh, you know, I had other clients go here and they loved it. They got to do this really fun thing. Um, you know, whatever it might be like this pasta cooking class, whatever it is. And again, it's really painting the picture. But then the great thing I love about this as well is that if afterwards my client might be like, I'm ready, like everything looks fabulous, I'm going to book this. Or if they're like, you know, um, I just want to think through a couple things, you can send this to them. You could send this hard copy, you know, this URL link to them so they can still see everything you just showed. And then they can actually go ahead and approve it on their own. So if they did, if you wanted to have them approve it, um, they could go ahead and approve it right here, um, you know, through that as well. So it's pretty nice having those options. Um, one other tip that I'll mention here as well is if you aren't able to get like on a Zoom call with them, um, something else I see users do is they'll make a Loom video where they they walk through this just like I showed. And then they put that Loom video in the uh, trip. So you can put that Loom video anywhere in here. You can also put it at the top of like the description because you can always add links. Um, so you can say like, click here to watch like the walkthrough or, you know, whatever, that, that kind of thing. We see that all the time. And I think that's just a really cool, it's a personal touch. Um, in there. That's really awesome. So that's the proposal, you know, and now let's say again, they are like, that is amazing. We are good to go. Let's start booking this. Let's start getting our reservations made. So now what you can do in the next step is you might actually start to have to get more information from your clients. Because again, remember from the beginning, we already have like, what do they want to do? Do they have dietary restrictions, all that kind of stuff, but we don't have their passport info yet, or we don't have like maybe the credit card authorization to start putting deposits down. So that's where you can start sending those forms to them. Now, one form that I want to highlight here is if you need to retrieve passport information, you can actually create a form in Travify to safe and securely get that. And again, this form is a template that I will be giving you as well. So you'll get this form. Um, but this form is really handy because you can have them just type in the, you know, their passport number, expiration date, but then it gets better. They also can upload a photo of their passport because typically sometimes that's all you need. You just need a photo of their passport to get things moving. And then what I love about this is when they fill this form out, this upload, this photo that they upload in here is actually going to go and organize itself into their uh, contact profile. So if you need to go get that photo, you're just going to go into your contact. So let's go take a step out here. And then we're going to go into contacts, click Sally Smith, and it would actually go in this document section. 
pretty nice. So it all goes in there. And, and again, it's safe and secure in there as well. Um, so that's what's also really, really handy about this. So you can always go back and get that information. So amazing stuff there. Um, but now I want to make sure we have time for um, all of these questions. Um, and I know that someone just asked too, like how, like all the forms I know, I'm sharing a lot of stuff with you. Um, that is all going to be in where is it at? This, this document we're going to give to you, right? And or Bonnie, I'll let you, you can throw it in whenever you're ready. Um, This link, there's a lot in there. <laughs> like I kind of went to town. I'm not going to lie. I put a lot of stuff in here, but um, you can also that free content. So like um, here, where are we at now? We're at the share proposal and walkthrough. Um, member that passport upload form, just click right here and you'll get it. And boom, and you have it. And it'll go, it'll save right into your account right there. Um, but okay, so we we have a final couple steps here. Um, the next one that we have is the pre-trip, during, and after. So for the pre-trip, um, this is really where you start polishing off that itinerary. You might add more things like packing lists, destination content, so much more. There's a lot you can do, and Travify makes it very easy for you to start editing and changing that and adding more in there. So what you can do is when you do get into um, their trip, so if we go back here, into this, this can convert into an itinerary. So you can always change it back. If they did approve it, it will automatically convert itself into an itinerary, but you do have the option. But then in here, you can now start changing things. Um, you could also completely start brand new if you wanted to create a new itinerary and then put like the booking information, all of that in there. Um, you can do all of that stuff right in there. Um, a couple of things I'll highlight though, is you can add, um, you can look up like the flights, stuff like that, but you can also attach documents. So if you do have like, you know, the vouchers or um, any documents that you might have, put those in there. Um, you can get everything in there that you need. Um, tons of great stuff. And in fact, let me add a start date here. I'm just going to go into July. We'll go in there. There we go just to show you how they're, that's how that date would start to reflect. And then you can, then you can change these titles. Um, and then you can also drag and drop stuff around. So if you are say, working in the same, you know, that what you made the proposal in, just drag and drop your stuff around. You can move entire days, shift them around if you need. Um, now, another thing that I want to highlight, because I know that um, Jennifer was talking about this, that she does a lot before the trip to get them excited. So sending things like packing lists or like movie recommendations, music. And it's so cool. I've been hearing a lot of advisors who do this and it's so easy to do. But one thing to make it even easier is you, of course, can manually create things in Travify, save them and put them onto your client's itineraries. But one thing that you could do is you we, you can also browse what's called Marketplace. Now, Marketplace, we launched a few months ago, and it is one of the most powerful things, I really think, that you could access because Marketplace is content that Travify users are sharing amongst each other. So if you go in Marketplace, and you can get into Marketplace from your account, um, when you get in your account, just uh, click Marketplace up at the top, and in here, you'll be able to search for things like packing list. And again, these are things that people have made. So you can see in here, um, like let's say cruise packing list, you can see here, um, I can copy it to my library, um, you know, all kinds of stuff that you can access. Um, there's just so much content in here. I highly recommend check that out. Um, it'll be really valuable because then it'll allow you to just quickly add that type of information into your client's itineraries. And then from there, you'll then be able to say like, hey, go check out, um, you know, this, uh, I've added the packing list, um, all of that good stuff. Now, one of the things, one of the final big things I'm going to tell you during the session is utilizing um, task lists. Now, you saw me add some tasks and reminders earlier. Like I had to be like, oh, let me remind myself to follow up with Sally if I didn't hear back. But one thing you can do in Travify is you can automate and set up things to send um, without you having to manually do it. So why I'm talking about this is because during a pre-trip, you might have some touch-in points. So you might say like one day before, or maybe like a couple days before the trip, you're going to send a, hey, don't forget, you're going to have to check into your flight 24 hours. Or maybe 30 days before the trip, you, you send them the itinerary and say, hey, I added a packing list in here, like go check it out, you know, all that kind of stuff. And you can set that stuff up to automate. Now, how you do that? 
is if you go into that trip, so see this trip right here. Here's that Italy vacation trip that we've been working out of. Now, I have already created a task list. A task list, um, this is something that I recommend. Um, read all about this in this free resource we're giving you um, because this is really going to walk you through pretty heavily of like everything you can do with task lists as well as give you um, task lists that you can copy into your own account. But basically what a task list is, is it allows you to put all the things that you want to happen and then just import it. So I'm going to add a task list. And then I think pre and post task list is the one I want. And now see how it just added like the dates in here for me. Now I set this up ahead of time. So I might normally want to send them like, hey, you know, your trip is one week away. If you haven't already download this trip plans app and that will end up sending to them on this date because it will, um, you know, automatically see what this trip start date is, all of that good stuff. So you can set up all those tasks in there. Now, if there's questions, um, hopefully there's time to answer those. But again, check out this um, this this uh, document that we're giving you because this will really show you a lot. And then you'll also have some templates, some task lists to just get in your own account and you can customize and start using it in there as well. So now during the trip, uh, to go on the same thing of the task list, during the trip, I think it's really great. You know, this is a way when you're staying connected, you're staying in touch with your clients, also giving them amazing white glove service in there. And so this is, again, set up those task lists um, and also use the Trip Plans mobile app to stay connected. So this Trip Plans app, this mobile app is what your clients use to view their itinerary on the go, but it's also where you can chat with them and you can automate those chat messages. So you can have it automate a chat message to send, you know, um, a couple days into their trip just to check in, all that good stuff. Um, so amazing things in there as well. And then finally, with the post-trip stuff, this is where you can start to ask for reviews, follow up with them, and then also keep the experience going even after the trip. Now, some ideas here. One, you can automate to send a trip feedback form that you create in Travify. Now, this feedback template is going to be available to you, um, but this is a great way if, you know, you want to just automate this to send a few days after their trip end date where they can leave a review, they can upload a photo. So then that way you can use it for like marketing, all that good stuff. Um, you can set that up in there. Um, you also, though, can, uh, you know, set up a task for yourself to follow up. So if you don't want, if you want to like make it a personal touch, you can still set a task to be like, oh, I need to follow up. They just got back home, um, things like that. But then another thing that's really great, um, that's a little bit of a bonus here, is you also can set up things to happen months down the road to check back in. So as an example, I'm going to open up this because I have a surprise and delight after the trip. Now, um, Jennifer talked about this, and I've heard other users talk about this as well, where you can set up an automated reminder or maybe it sends um, the trip invite, which it sends the itinerary to them like, a, like 365 days later. And it says, you know, a simple message that just says, oh, I love like I... You know, it's been a year already. Um, you know, let me know when you're ready to plan your next trip, all that good stuff. Um, so it really doesn't end there. Like I said, I mean, it's starting from that first initial call, understanding what the person's looking for, what the client wants, needs. And then it's literally going into the next year and getting ready to book that next trip. So it's just a constant flow, um, which is so amazing in there. Now, I know that was so much and I didn't leave a ton of time for questions, so I'm going to make sure that I get to those. Um, a couple of things I want to point out here, though, is if you're not a Travify user right now, you should go sign up because you can do everything I just did. So um, if you go to Travify.com, you can start a free 10 day trial. Um, and during that trial period, you know, do a demo with us. Um, you can, you know, you get access to all of the tools that I went through and even more that I didn't touch on today. Um, but this will also be handy because once you get this um, this link, this will allow you, you can go through and I have a ton of stuff in here. And then again, you can start getting this free content. Like here's that pre and during trip check-in. Um, all you're going to do when you're logged into your account, just click copy and it will all start syncing into your account. So you can start customizing it and using it today, um, which is so, so awesome. Um, and I'm just going to say, because I saw uh, Jody came and said, Travify is amazing. Everyone should have it. 
Couldn't agree more, Jody. I love that. Such a great little comment there. Um, but okay, so I'm going to dive just right into questions because this was like the fastest hour I feel like ever. Um, so uh, question here. Okay, so um, the first question is, can you make the trip template download so current users can save it to their account? Um, or the current trip template downloadable. So yeah, they should <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, that be. was actually me asking you, can you make this oh. template available for them to save it to their Travify account? <laughs> You know, I think I can do that. that that's true. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, what I'm going to do after this, I'm going to take it a step further. That's funny. That's a, um, I was like, oh, wait, I like, think what? this is a note Bonnie was trying to give to me. Um, <laughs> what actually I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in Marketplace. So you're going to get this link. So go to this link now if you like, if you want in here. But um, I'll also make this so you can download it. Um, but I'm going to put it into Marketplace. So when you go into Marketplace, like in like 15 minutes, just go into Marketplace and it'll be up here under Featured Content. So you'll see it up here under Featured Content. I'll put it in there for you um, as well. Um, another question here is, um, will, you, will you please show us where we can create a link to email to clients to sign our terms and conditions and collect planning fee services? Um, oh, yes. So one thing you can do, so you can customize the proposal agreement form. Um, so you're able to actually just completely customize that now, I believe, Bonnie, tell me if I'm going down the wrong path, um, because I was kind of this, okay, nope, here it is. I want to make sure, because there's a lot of new tools in here that sometimes I get turned around. Um, so one thing you can do is you can set up the proposal agreement form in your account settings, and then you can actually just create um, a form in here that's just an automatic, it'll always use that form. Um, so that's that's how you would set up if you always have your same terms and conditions. Um, just set up your own form in here. And again, you'll access this in your account settings by clicking on your name top right hand side and then click account and then go settings. And that's where you will find that ad in there. So great question there. Um, Carolyn asks, can you explain how you add the client questionnaire to an existing content or contact if I'm filling it out? Yes. So, and I did this one a little, um, probably a little different than people might think about, but I don't know. This is just what made sense in my head was, um, I would have the, uh, I tend, or I'd have the form pulled up on my side so I can create it. So let me show you. So let's say I'm getting on a phone call with, with Sally and I am just going to go ahead and I'm going to go grab that form. So this is the form right here. So I could pretend like I'm sharing it with a client, but I'm just going to get this link right here. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new tab and open that link. I'm just going to open this link like I'm the person. Um, so I know, again, you might have them just fill this out. But I personally like the idea of, you know, being on the call and I'm filling it out um, because then during this, I can actually add more detailed notes that the per that the person filling this out probably wouldn't do. Um, so what I would do is while I'm on the phone with them, I'm typing in all this stuff. So I'm, I'm answering it for them. But I also know now, okay, how long do you need to stay? Who will be traveling with you? So I don't forget anything I need to ask. So then once I'm off the phone with them or I'm still on the phone maybe and I'm like, okay, perfect. I'm going to continue and I'm going to um, just finish out this form. And so it's going to come to me um, now in my responses. So it's going to come in here. And so from here, you can then, uh, like this person right here, um, it's going to say, if this is a new contact that I don't have in my Travify account yet, it'll say, hey, do you want to create a new contact out of this? And I can choose yes. And that will take me in to contacts. So it brings it in here. And then that's, again, where those forms go and all of that. So that's kind of how that organize is in there. Now, if you just had the person filling the form out, then it would just go straight in here and it would, you would go through the same process. It's just that you wouldn't be the one manually filling that form out. So I hope that, I hope that makes sense. I know it's kind of a, it's, it's kind of an interesting way that I just am like saying you could do it. Um, but you could certainly also just like have them fill it out. And then you can of course use that notes section to take notes during a call as well too. Um, okay, Amanda asks, how would a smart field work if 
it's a new client and they're not in my contacts? That's a great question. So it actually works the same. So um, if they're not in your contacts yet, um, it still is going to know where to where to put that information when you say create a new contact. So when they do come in, um, you know, basically like, let's say they fill out their email, phone number, all of that. But since it's a smart field right away, when I create a new contact, it's going to go into this, into these areas right away. And I also definitely recommend look at our, um, we have an FAQ on smart fields. I would check that out um, because it's a really cool tool. Um, and there's also a way that you can make your own custom smart field. So there's a lot you can do. And I highly recommend getting it down now. So that way you can keep everything really organized as well. Um, okay. So Judy asks, can you block downloading of a proposal itinerary while you are in the planning stages with the client so they cannot save it to shop you? Yes. So glad you asked that Judy, because that's a big one. Um, you can, so you can control, um, and how you do that is you can just click on that, um, you know, that itinerary or that proposal, and then um, you can change the visibility. Now you can do that in the settings. Now the trip settings are, there's like a little dial there, but if you click on the name, um, there's an option here. It says visibility and you're going to hide it. So now when the person, if someone goes to view this, this is what it looks like. It's going to be blocked off. So you could certainly do that, but also keep in mind too, that you don't even have to send this to them because if you're just giving them, you know, you're, you're going through it all over a call, then you might not actually be sending the final thing to them, um, until it's actually an itinerary. Um, but that's the nice thing is, yeah, you can totally shut it down if you need, um, and then turn it back on when you need as well. Um, so really happy there. Um, okay, so final question here is from Amanda. Um, where did the reminders and tasks show up? That's a good question. Now, the reminders and tasks, those because you can add tasks to a trip, to a contact profile, and then you can have like one-off tasks for yourself. And all of those live in one place. They are going to all live right at the top, right next to um, your name and profile right up there in the top right-hand corner. And it's gonna be like a little clipboard with a little check mark on it. If you click on that, this is where you can see all of your tasks. Now, something even better, if you have the Travify Pro app on your phone, you'll also be able to view all of the tasks on there. So when you're on the go, you can quickly make your own task in there, um, but you can also have it and it'll also notify you. So it'll say like a task is due, um, you know, all that kind of stuff on your phone. Um, so highly recommend getting that um, as well. And I also will note that in this uh, document, there's also um, information about the tra the Travify Pro app, Trip Plans app, all that good stuff. So I'm telling you, there's a lot in here. There's so much stuff. This was the best way that I could think of to like get all this content to you um, without, you know, just being like links, links here, here. Um, so I'm really excited and I hope this is really helpful for everybody in there. Um, now, a couple of things just to kind of round us out here um, is I do want to mention again, um, check out our Facebook group. So if you go to Travify official Facebook group, um, go in there and um, this really can help ask those questions. We can help answer them, um, you know, and also I think it'd be really cool because if you're curious what other people are doing for certain things, ask that and people will usually help out and they'll, they'll share what they found works for them really well. So that's why it's just a really cool cool community in there as well. Um, and again, these recordings, this recording will be available, but we're actually not done yet for the day. We still have one more. Um, so we do have one more. Um, today we have, uh, where did my, I have so many tabs open now. I bet this is everybody feels the same pretty much about this, that lots of tabs, but um, our next session and last one for today is with Penny Cooper. And it's all about the art of um, storytelling to sell. So she's going to explain, you know, her personal story and how she, you know, was able to turn her story into, you know, her business and, and how she uses that to sell and craft that experience for clients. So really, really awesome. And um, again, also one last thing I lied Join us for happy hour. Um, so this will be on Friday or Thursday. So in a couple days, um, you're gonna hear us talking about it this whole week. Uh, is to the countdown to happy hour has begun. Um, so Thursday at 4 p.m. Central, um, we're gonna have travel trivia and Bonnie's hosting us. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and you can win prizes. So definitely, uh, you know, join us there. But with that being said, 
I can't wait to see, I hope to see you all in about an hour here. Um, but thank you. Thank you so, so much. Um, this we're just getting started. It's we're only one out of two days. So I can't wait to, for you all to join us some more and I will hopefully see you again soon. See ya.